What up everybody, this is Raven Sky, day 23, building a produce farm garden from scratch. Uh, this is a take two, my, my phone cut out at about five minutes, so I'm gonna try to keep this short and hopefully uh, get through this. Uh, when I first got this dosatron, it came in a box, and really the only thing it came with is this dosatron. It came with the uh, mounting bracket, you can kind of see here, that I mounted onto a two by four. It's uh, easy on and off, you just pull this, right here and it just kind of pops off. The other thing I came with was this uh, tube and um, I didn't cut any of the tube. I actually used zip ties to keep all the length so I could adjust the uh, so I could adjust the uh, the intake on it as it goes down to the bottom of the 40 gallon um, barrel. The other thing that this uh, dosatron was supposed to come with I think was there's a, uh, a filtering system that I would normally put right here and then the, the water would go into it into a filtering system before it even gets into the dosatron to save the save the internal um, uh, components of the dosatron. Uh, I do not have that. Uh, maybe I can get that later. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I don't have that. So the way I constructed this was I used a I used a dolly and I used a 40 gallon uh, barrel uh, with no that had originally had no chemicals in it. I used a couple ratchet straps in order to uh, tie it to the dolly. The other thing I had to build um, was I had to uh, get this plumbing to fit onto the, the dosatron on both sides here. So basically I've got, sorry about that, so basically I have the hose coming in from, uh, from the, uh, the faucet here. The hose is going down and then it runs up to this. And then I've got an on-off switch for the water when I've got it on. The dosatron does not require batteries or electricity. It actually runs on the running water. The internal components actually uh, microdose the water as the water is flowing through here. So when this is on, it um, depending on what your setting you have here, there's a little setting thing that you twist this and it goes down in percentage from two all the way down to zero, or I think two percent dose um, dosing. So basically, this will actually um, when the water's running through here, it will actually pick up your fertilizer through this tube and then microdose it into the feeding, um, into the, uh, the, the drip line. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the short, the short summary on how that works. Uh, the way I have my system set up is the drip line actually comes out here and then I've got this snaking all the way down. I have a T-square or, um, whatever you want to call that. I'll call it a T, a, um, you know, a T adapter, I guess. And this T adapter I have running over here to my tomatoes. I then have an off switch right here. And that way I can water just these alone or I can water just those alone. Then basically coming back here to the um, T adapter, this T adapter then runs, uh, then runs over to my first line. I also have a on off switch here. So if I just want to water my tomatoes, I just turn this off and open this valve up over here and that will water my tomatoes. So uh, that's just a quick overview of what the dosatron, uh, what the dosatron is. Um, I'm, not being, I'm not able to get into a whole lot of specifics um, as far as how you mix everything yet. I think I'm going to try to make another and try to make another video on that and try to explain it a little bit more. But that's essentially my setup if you're planning on setting up your dosatron and that's really super basic and it does function really well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you and uh, you know we'll try to figure out uh, what you got going on. Appreciate everybody for stopping by and uh, stay tuned for the next video. See ya.